Another type of mixing problem you can get is the one that involves percentages. So this problem says a vat with 500 gallons of beer contains 4% of alcohol. Now, beer with 6% alcohol is pumped into the vat at a rate of 5 gallons per minute. The mixture is pumped out at the same rate. And the solution is thoroughly mixed. So what is the percentage of alcohol after one hour? So let y at t equal to the amount of alcohol in gallons after t minutes. And y prime of t, or the derivative, is the rate at which the alcohol is added minus the rate at which it is removed. Don't forget to draw a diagram. So here we have 4% alcohol in 500 gallons of beer. We have 6% alcohol entering at 5 gallons per minute. How much alcohol is leaving? Well, that is the amount of alcohol out of 500 gallons, right? So it has to be y at t over 500 at a rate of 5 gallons per minute. So the question for you is how much alcohol do we have at the beginning, right? So what is y at zero? Well, remember we have 4% alcohol out of 500 gallons. So the amount of alcohol we have, or y at zero, is 4% times 500, which gives us 20 gallons of alcohol. The problem wants us to find the percentage of alcohol after an hour. Okay, so the percentage of alcohol after one hour is y at 60 divided by 500. And so we also need to find y at 60. Our formulas are the same as before, so let's find the rate in and the rate out. So rate in is equal to concentration in, which is 6% alcohol. So 6% is the same as 0 0.06 times flow in, and flow in is 5 gallons per minute. So 5 gal per minute, and this will give you 0 0.3 gallons per minute. How about rate out? So rate out is concentration out, which is y over 500 times 5 gallons per minute. And we will have y over 100 gallons per minute. And this means that dy over dt is equal to 0 0.3 minus y over 100. So 0 0.3 is the same as 30 over 100. So let's change that. We have 30 over 100 minus y over 100. And then we can combine it into the same fraction. And we have 30 minus y over 100. So here is our equation. And we also have y at 0 is equal to 20 from the given statement. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by dt. So we have dy is equal to 30 minus y over 100 times dt. And then divide both sides by 30 minus y. So 1 over 30 minus y is equal to 1 over 100 dt. The next step is to integrate both sides. So let's solve this one first. So let u, let u equal to 30 minus y. So du over dy, we differentiate it, we get negative 1. So du is equal to negative dy, and dy is equal to negative d. So this right here is equal to negative the integral of 1 over u du, which is equal to negative ln of u plus c. And u is 30 minus y, so we get negative ln of 30 minus y plus c. Now we do the right side. So the integral of 1 over 100 dt, we can move the constant out, we get 1 over 100 the integral of 1 dt, and 1 dt is the same as t, so we get t over 100 plus c. Now we solve for c. So since, since we already know that y at 0 is equal to 20 from before, we can substitute it into this equation. t will be 0, so here let's write it out. So ln at 30 minus y, and y is 20. And on the right hand side, we have 0, 100. So 0 over 100, which is just 0 plus c. 
and so c will be negative ln of absolute value of 30 minus 20 which is 10 but since 10 is a positive number we don't need the absolute value we can just write negative ln of 10. let's multiply both sides by negative 1 so we have ln 30 minus y is equal to negative t over 100 plus ln of 10. now to get rid of this ln we put e to the power of both sides so e to the power of ln absolute value of 30 minus y and the same thing on the right hand side e to the power of negative t over 100 plus ln of 10. so e to the power of ln absolute value of 30 minus y is just the absolute value of 30 minus y and over on this side, we have e to the power of negative t over 100 times e to the power of ln 10. So e to the power of ln 10 is just 10. At this point, we can get rid of the absolute value, and that's a reason for that. And that's because if you graph this one, so e to the power of negative t over 100, it will look something like this. So it will always be positive and above the horizontal line, and therefore, this is a positive function now let's minus both sides by 30 so we get negative y is equal to e to the power of negative t over 100 times 10 let's write it in front so we have minus 30 which gives us y is equal to 30 minus 10 times e to the power of negative t over 100. the problem wants us to find the amount of alcohol after an hour so y at 60 is equal to 30 minus 10 times e to the power of negative 60 over 100. After putting this in a calculator, you get approximately 24.5119 gallons of alcohol. And the problem also wants us to find the percentage of alcohol after one hour. So the percentage of alcohol is what? It's going to be y at 60, so the amount of alcohol over 500 gallons and this will give you the percentage so 24.5119 over 500 is about 4.9 percent and so this here is your answer